So surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. 
from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those seven. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. He captured Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And book. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition every Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame so answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. I just worked so Unless you're Victoria. Sure She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Really yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. And I want to represent my you have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from the- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur.
Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a...